as more and more opportunities to communicate have come along, it's becoming increasingly difficult for our clients to compile all that information and have it in a, in a manner that's easy to get at. What we've done is developed a process that we call a data lake, which is we try to give you the right data, just the data that you need, and we really roll it up in a simple format that's easy to understand so that the day-to-day -day marketers, they can consume it and they can use it. And we build our data lakes in a manner to where we call them future-proof. We don't know what the next big thing is, but we, whatever it's going to be, we're gonna design our data and manage our data in a way to where it can be used by anything. The industry years ago used to fight with one another to who had the most data. So they would, we used to call it um, big data. It's still sort of a big popular term. It's collecting data from as many touch points as possible. But what has happened is it's created an, an environment for our clients where it's unrealistic for them to get at the data in a timely manner, in a timely fashion. One of our customers, um, when they came to us, their existing environment had a database that had 1,800 tables to it. And they came to us with their hands in the air saying, I don't know what to do with this. I can't get from A to B. I can't, I have a lot of data here, but I don't know how to bring it all together and make real time decisions or right decisions based on the data I have. It's, it's become too out of control. Over the years, marketing has gone from something that's compiled monthly, once a month, marketers or, or our, our customers would um, grab all their information, all their prior purchase information from the prior month, collect it all, put it all together, and that creates a snapshot of what a customer looked like. But that's already a month old. So the industry over the years, a month turned into a week, a week has turned into a day, and now a day has turned into real time. So it's, what are my consumers, how are they interacting with my brand right now today, not how did they interact with my brand a month ago. And it used to be, you know, this battle, of, when is the right time to send an email to somebody? And, and, and marketers would say, oh, well, you know, six in the morning or seven in the morning, right, when they're getting their coffee, or maybe it's noon when they're taking a break, or maybe it's in the evening when someone's done working for the day. And there's this battle that just went on of when the right time to market to somebody is, and the right time is really when the consumer wants to receive or when their consumer's interacting with the brand. That's the best time. Now it's gone beyond just phone and physical address and email. Now it's what are all the devices that um, this individual has? Is it some sort of tablet? Is it some sort of um, cell phone? So whatever touch point, if we can get a read or information to know that they're actively interacting with my brand right now, maybe they're on our social media site right now, maybe they're physically on our site shopping right now, um, we can do real-time decisioning um, and enable the marketer to interact with that consumer right now in real time as they're engaged currently with the brand versus trying to pick some random time we think is going to be best. An ideal situation would be if a consumer was currently on your website, um, maybe they're shopping, maybe they're clicking, maybe they, but they haven't filled anything in the cart yet. What we can do is look that consumer up in real time and see past purchase behavior and then pull up a custom offering that's unique just to that individual in real time. Customized offers are great because you feel like you're part of that brand. You feel that that brand cares for you and they know something about you and you're not just getting something that's generic, that's blanketed. But if I get an offering that shows that the brand knows me as well as I know the brand, then you've got this two-way communication that's going on. You've got some loyalty that's going on. So it's always a, it's a tough balance to say what is the right amount of communication and when, and when's the right time, which is why we always say that we, 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 put, we give you the right information at the right time so you can communicate at the right time. I'm John Filipoff and I'm with Deloitte Digital and I help clients by architecting complex solutions and turning them into a reality.